everyone. I made this video about four years ago. I think it was four years ago. But it was when I first started identifying, like, liking nerdy stuff, I guess. And it was just cringy. So if you want to watch it in all its terribleness, it's here. But uh, I'm remaking it because my opinions have probably changed quite a lot. It, so therefore we have the nerd tag. Kirk or Picard? I think I said Picard last time, but probably, probably Kirk. Like, young William Shatner and Chris Pine now. It's just like, uh. Gosh. Warrior, thief or wizard? I don't play any games like that, so I can't really have an answer to this question. Favourite school subject? When I was at school, I loved maths. Maths was my favourite, and I would happily just do maths for fun if I could. I wish I could take like a maths course at uni because I would really enjoy it, because I'm just a loser like that. What is your Patronus? This has been mentioned a lot of the times on my channel. My Patronus is a rabbit. Favourite superhero? That is a difficult one. I'm gonna have to sit on that for a minute. I'm always up for a bit of Spider-Man. Uh, everyone knows how much I'm in love with Captain America. Uh, Black Widow 2. Comics, I love Hawkeye. Like, I love Hawkeye, he's so amazing. Star Trek or Star Wars? I'm gonna have to say Star Wars on this one. It's, it's something I got into earlier than rather than later. If that makes sense. Marvel or DC? I don't think this needs to be answered. How do you keep in shape? I don't, but I should. So nothing. I walk a lot of places because I can't drive and I don't like public transport. Career choice? Something in TV probably, I don't know. Wish I could do YouTube full time because that would be great. Favourite video game? Mass Effect 2, The Last of Us, Heavy Rain. Oh, also Portal 2. Favourite author? I don't know what I said in the last video. It's obviously going to be Arthur Conan Doyle. You know that. But like now, Stephen King, no competition. But I think it's going to have to be Rainbow Rowell. I don't know how you say her last name. It really bugs me. Rainbow Rowell? Rowell? But every book of hers that I've read, I have enjoyed. I think I just like her writing style. This is um, her newest one, I think. And I also had uh, like a World Book Day thing. It's basically about um, a girl who gets in line for Star Wars Force Awakens like three days before it comes out. Favourite non-mainstream band? This will probably be Bennett Ladies. I don't count them as mainstream because sometimes I'll mention, if, if I tell people my favourite band, I say Bennett Ladies and they're like, I don't know who that is. And then I'll say, they sing one week, you know that Chicken China Chinese Chicken. Chicken to China, the Chinese chicken. You have a drumstick and your brain stops sticking. And then they're like, oh, I know them. But that's the only ever, that's the only song they ever know. So I'll say them. That was a really long answer. Nerdiest thing about yourself? I don't know. I'm very. Everything is nerdy. Look, everything is nerdy. Probably the extent I go with some things. Like I never just do nerdy things like a little bit. I do it a lot. Nerdiest film in your collection? I own pretty much just nerdy films. Probably, can I count like box sets? Cause I have The Guild, which is a DVD of an internet show, which is about online gamers. PlayStation, Xbox or Wii? Nobody would say Wii. I say PlayStation. What have I got? Biggest word that you know? <sighs> I don't know. Greatest nerd accomplishment? Ooh, I have many of these. They're all to do with meeting famous people. Or well, actually, one I'm quite proud of is me and my sister, Gemma got into the Supernatural fandom documentary, not the newest one, it was, I think it was the Supernatural special, celebrating 10 years of Supernatural. Our picture was in it because months before it came out I had to send, they, they asked, oh send your pictures of you and the cast, so I sent all my photo ops and then I didn't really think about it for about six months and then the thing came out and I watched it and I was like yeah that was a good thing. And then later I got a message from Lucy saying, oh my god, you didn't tell me you are in the thing. And I was like, what? And I went back and I was like, oh yeah, 
like I didn't see because it was just pop picture popped up for like a few seconds it was this bit here biggest nerd role model in your life uh probably Felicia Day yeah I think I'm gonna say Felicia Day she's a very relatable person fictional character you fantasize about being as a kid I just remember pretending to be Belle from Beauty and the Beast and having like three Belle dresses Belle Barbies I had Beauty and the Beast everything I just loved her because she loved reading and I loved reading. Nerdiest pickup line. I can't think of these and they're always so cringy because normally nerdy pickup lines are from like really people who would never get chatted up in their lifetime. Nerdiest item of clothing. Probably my Marvel skirt or my Lord of the Rings leggings. I will get both for you now. This is my Marvel skirt and my map of Middle Earth leggings. They are so cute and so comfortable. I also have two Marvel snapbacks a multitude of Marvel t-shirts and I'm probably missing something else but uh, the skirt and the leggings are the things I get the most compliments on. Random useless talent. I don't know I'm gonna I'm gonna ask someone on Facebook. So I just asked Nick and he said opening bottles of my teeth. Everyone always hates when I do that but it's not like I'm gonna break my teeth. People think I'm gonna break my teeth. Do you read the book before the movie? Usually I buy the book before the movie but I never read it before because I am lazy. Yeah I own a lot of books that are based on film. No, I own a lot of books that TV shows and films are based off of. If you could have a superpower what would it be? If anyone's watched Heroes, Hero Nakamura's power is travelling through space and time. Kind of like a human TARDIS. I would have that because that is very useful. So I hope you enjoyed the nerd tag and it was less cringy than last time. And yes, I say nerd, not geek, because I'm not a geek. I'm a nerd. So that's it for this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye!